and to Saint Stephen. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling in word and heeding his voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the gra grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And our church today celebrates Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, Archangels. <laughs> and we come and seek the intercession and protection as God destined them to, um, for us. So let us come before the Lord, as the Lord for forgiveness to pardon our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people, goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Sons of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who dispose in marvelous order ministers, ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, in the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, O Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels. You ministers who do his will. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said of him, here is a true child of Israel. There's no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angel of God ascending and descending on the sons of men. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. And today, we, our church celebrates uh, uh, Saints Michael, um, Raphael, and uh, Gabriel, three archangels. And uh, in the very beginning of the Bible, actually did not uh, record that God created uh, angels. But God created man, woman, man and women, and in his own image. So we, as we journey through our life, we, in our faith also, we ask uh, why God created man and women. Of course, uh, we know that God created us so that we can share his being, especially in his uh, own image. Then we can live a life and God wants to share his life with each of us. It is gradually in the Bible revealed that God has already, or already created other beings, and higher beings, angels, and before creating man. And today we celebrate three uh, archangels which mentioned in the Bible, and Michael, and also known as a protector. And Michael fight a battle in the book of Daniel and win the battle, win the victory 
and also uh, in the book of Revelation, Michael also found a battle uh, over the evil ones and will actually uh, lead to victory. And he is fighting the battle for each of us, the, ang the archangel uh, Michael. And uh, we know also Raphael uh, was uh, recorded in the book of Tobit. And he is a healer. And eventually through his uh, intervention and uh, especially uh, in his uh, uh, prayer, uh, Tobit was healed of uh, his blindness. So it was also a victory. And uh, Raphael protected uh, to Tobias and Tobit to final victory. And also we know Gabriel very well. Uh, Gabriel was also appeared in the book of the, um, uh, Daniel and uh, interpreted the message uh, there. And also Gabriel was sent uh, to Mary uh, by God to announce the good news. Uh, Mary had been chosen to be the Son of God and to be mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there we hear that uh, Gabriel also uh, came to human being and brought the good news. So he's a messenger of God. All these are uh, higher being angels, archangels. We also have guardian angel for ourselves. Actually, think about it. It's really, and uh, they serve God. Yes, indeed. In serving God, also in serving human beings, they are in instrument of God to bring God's protection and healing and God's message to the world. And they are all around us. They are uh, fighting for each of us. That's why we have a deeper devotion to the angels, especially uh, we have a devotion to Archangel Michael. And uh, the other devotion started very early in the church. So we know God loves us. And God created even angels to protect human beings and to send a message for each of us. We, uh, in that way, uh, if we pardon it, and uh, thinking about it, all, all the angels that God has created is for us and uh, bring us salvation. So angels are pure and are devoted and the messenger of God, instrument of God, they are always ready to defend us and to heed the God's message. So we are protected, and we are blessed, and especially each of us has a guardian angel. And uh, if you are seek their intercession and always thinking about them as they follow us, so they are all around us. So if we have this devotion to them, uh, we can feel their protection in our life. So <clears throat> there's many stories relating to how archangels and our guardian angel leading us and guide us. So as we devoted to our loving God, uh, we seek angels' help, and they can truly help us, guide us, and uh, bring God's message to each of us. As we honor them, uh, as we celebrate this sacrifice uh, on this altar, we know the angels also doing the same. Uh, join us, and uh, heaven and earth are coming together, offer sacrifices. So that's uh, the message that uh, has been revealed in the Bible and in, by Jesus Christ, as he says uh, uh, today in the Gospel. And uh, when Jesus says, uh, Nathaniel told him, uh, before you come in here, I already know you. I know I saw you under fig tree. And uh, he immediately uh, says, Jesus is son of God. Then Jesus says, oh, only because you, uh, I said, I saw you before uh, you came uh, under fig tree, you will see greater things. And uh, you will see angels descending and ascending on the son of man. So that's uh, the image that God, uh, Jesus want to us also to see the yes and uh, Jesus is a son of God and uh, the angels 
are coming to serving him. Ascending and descending. By ascending, and they bring us intercessions. And by descending, they come to protect each of us. So let us uh, offer this sac sacrifice, as Jesus says. Huh? And the angels are standing and descending on the sons of men. I imagine we are here to celebrate this sacrifice, and uh, angels also, uh, as Jesus promised, are standing and descending on this altar and intercede for us and bring God's graces to each of us. Let us come, come in to our loving God, uh, knowing that God always uh, loves us and created angels to protect us and uh, to uh, intercede for us. Let us uh, come to the Lord, offer our pr prayers. Let us pray for the church, especially the leader of the church. May God give them wisdom and courage uh, to lead in the troubled world. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace in the world. Especially pray for cease of the war in Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray for all the suffering. Uh, those are people who suffer in the war, uh, in violence, uh, in sickness. May God uh, send angels to them and protect them and bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for increase of vocations. May many young people heed the call of the Lord and respond uh, to follow Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we also pray for those people who are persecuted because of their faith. Um, may God give them courage, perseverance, and resolve to hold on their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray for all our beloved deceased. Uh, we pray today for Alice Liu. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for the intentions of Vera Rogowski. Let us pray to the Lord. Now in silence our heart, we offer our own personal prayers. For all the prayers held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Grace and loving God, we thank you for all the blessings, all graces you given to us through the angels, and we ask you continue to bless us and grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and we call human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine will call human hands, it will, be, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. This day be pleasant to you, Lord God. Love was our sacrifice. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice to yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for praise and glory of God's name. For the good, good of this holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O oh Lord, humbly entreating you that as this gift are uh, borne by the ministry of the angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor you pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude O angels, act towards your majesty, and we are united with them in, exalt, in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The, ministry, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Alpone, Salvatore, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Especially we remember Alice, and welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been nourished with the heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that a joining from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly among the way of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A message ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.